Okay, today we're going to talk about using other images as a mood board to create a style or an aesthetic that you want for something else in Mid Journey. So, an easy way of doing that is using previously created images that you already have. And in, over on the right hand side in Mid Journey Alpha, you can create folders for different things where if you use the same tag word, then that populates the folder, which makes it easy to separate ideas that you can use later. And here, let me show you, I've got some folders set up. Uh, here's stuff with skulls in it. Here's stuff for textures, patterns, stuff that's high contrast, stuff that's drawings, uh, photography, uh, duotone. You know, there's a lot of different things in here. But what I want to do is I want to use a woodcut style uh, drawing for something that we're going to create. I'm just going to show you how this works. So we're going to I've already got a prompt set up. And then what we want is the S ref of something I've already created. And if I scroll down here a little bit, I've got some birds that I did a while back. And this isn't an American Robin. This is um, a uh, Magnolia Warbler, right? But I kind of like this kind of look, okay? So what I can do is I can right click and get the copy image URL, okay? And then back here, my prompt is just dash dash S ref. And then I can paste in um, my uh my image right now if i can add as many of these as i want so maybe i have another image that i like maybe it's this um uh chrysanthemum right same thing i can do copy image url dash dash s ref whoops type it in right okay now when i hit go it's going to create these but you know, maybe I want to create a bunch of these at one time. So a really great trick to do is just um, you can make a, a repeat, right? So that's just dash dash R. And any number between 1 through 10 is going to repeat that many. So if I do 3, remember we get 4 per go. That's going to create 12 images to choose from. So... Now, warning, this totally eats up your GPU time. So if you're on a smaller version plan of mid-journey, beware, right? So I'm just going to show you how this works. So that's R3. And uh, I'm not worrying about style or anything. Uh, it's just going to be in my default, which is set at 100, right? So here we go. So right now, I'm going to create uh, an American Robin on a tree branch. I want a graphic illustration naturalistic color palette, high contrast, flat color, woodcut style with a pale green background. And I gave two SREF images as an example of how I want this uh, image to come out, right? So as you can see, it's currently working on this. And instead of getting four, I did uh, did uh, repeat three, so I'm getting 12 versions right off the bat. And uh, we're and we're done, right? So anyway, so here is uh, here is my image, okay? And uh, as you can see, these are all different, and uh, that's just a, a, an easy way that you can influence the outcome of your images just by using sref. And uh, it'll totally take on whatever kind you uh, whatever kind of image you're throwing at it, right? So uh, anyway, that's that. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please uh, subscribe to the Mid Journey Experience newsletter for more tips like this on how you can create better images using Mid Journey. Thanks for watching. <laughs>